I believe the eye is a very good marker for brain diseases. The retinal tissue is very similar to brain tissue. So that means that the changes that are going on in the brain, particularly the earliest changes that might be leading to Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, similar things are likely to be happening in the, in the retina. So the huge advantage of the eye is that you can image it in real time. You, it's hard to um, regularly image the brain. It's obviously hidden in the skull, but the eye you can see. And so what we're able to do is create a battery of tests for the eye that enables us to track essentially the health of the retina. Obviously, scientists have been studying retinal degeneration for years. What's really novel about this, though, is that nobody had ever really took a look at uh, wild-derived mice or mice that are from a different genetic background. We used nine different genetic backgrounds to really understand the genetics driving both aging and degeneration in the retina. Humans are genetically very different, and yet when we go to mouse models, we tend to lump them into one single genetic context. So if we truly want to translate our findings to the clinic, we have to embrace genetic heterogeneity in our preclinical studies, so in the studies that we do in mice. JAX is one of the few institutes that embraces genetic diversity or genetic heterogeneity to study these complex diseases. I'm very curious and I want to see people have you know, more improved health and longevity. There were quite a few aha, like very interesting things like are occurring all pretty simultaneously. I was looking for glaucoma in these mice. And when I wasn't seeing really any evidence of glaucoma, um, there was the option to just kind of put it to bed. But when Mike suggested looking at the photoreceptors, which is, you know, it's certainly not glaucoma. It's not uh, the field that I came from. It's not the purpose of what I was studying them for. I was just so interested. It was such a severe phenotype. And even though it was a completely different uh, direction for, for this study, I said, let's go for it. We found that using these wild-derived strains uh, gave us some really unexpected phenotypes. And now we have a whole genetic background to play with and to kind of dissect apart which parts of that genome are driving degeneration. So there's a whole field of opportunity here to uncover the mechanisms driving retinal degeneration. So I think this is really going to be used as the foundation for future research. The important thing about the eye being a biomarker for Alzheimer's if it is or isn't, we still need to do a lot of research on that. But the key thing about if it is, and this is particularly important in Maine, which is a rural state. If it was feasible to go get an eye exam rather than a brain exam, we would have a huge advantage to identify those that were at risk of developing Alzheimer's. And then you can work hard to get the smaller numbers of people that might be at risk to the places that they need to go. There's more to the eyes than just simply seeing. <laughs>